So good afternoon from the Magic Kingdom. So we are here today on St. Patrick's Day. We are actually celebrating my birthday. So I'm super excited to be here. Hubby did snag dining reservations for Cinderella's Royal Table. I cannot wait. This is gonna be our first time dining there. I cannot wait to show you guys all the food, all the beautiful atmosphere. We're dining in Cinderella's castle. Like it doesn't get much better than that. Definitely subscribe for more fun adventures just like this one. So come along and stay. I don't know about you guys, but this view just never gets old walking up to Cinderella Castle with that beautiful 50th anniversary. How gorgeous is this walkway, guys? It is such a beautiful day here in Florida. I can't stress that enough. Nice and breezy, not too hot, not too cold. It's just the perfect theme park day. So once you enter Cinderella Castle, all you have to do is come around the corner, and then as you can see, we're right here at Cinderella's Royal Table. Very easy to find right when you enter the castle. So we're about to have our picture taken with Cinderella, and she is so beautiful. I cannot wait. This part is so magical, especially if you have little ones. Okay guys, so we are now taking the elevator up to the second floor because our table is ready. Very small little elevator here. So as we enter, it definitely makes me feel like royalty. They have all the family crests hanging up on the ceilings. There's lots of flags. It's decorated so beautifully. And then we are pretty close to the window. So if you guys notice outside, we can see Magic Kingdom. So not a very princessy moment of me, but I broke a glass. The one place where it can break, of course I knock it over. So great start. <laughs> So as we sat down, they gave us a nice little wishing star with lots of magic. It's so pretty. And this is our beautiful table. And then these menus are QR codes as well. And then I did get a little water and a Sprite. I don't normally drink soda, but I figured, hey, it's my birthday. Why not? So we are dining here for lunch. Now Cinderella's Royal Table is a prefix menu. And you could choose between these. I ordered the charcuterie and then hubby ordered the steamed mussels. And then for my entree, I ordered the One Will My Life Begin Chicken and Pasta. So the One Will My Life Begin Chicken and Pasta, that is an item for the 50th anniversary. And then scrolling on down for dessert, I got the Clock Strikes 12, because why not? We're in Cinderella's Castle. That one I'm really excited for. It is a dark chocolate mousse cake. You cannot go wrong with that. Okay, so our appetizers have arrived. So here we have a little prosciutto. Here we have a little bit of salami. And then over there we have a duck pate and then the little crackers to eat it with, and then some pickles. So I can't wait to dig into this. So one thing about me, I love pickles. I could literally eat them right out of the jar. Um, so we're gonna dig right into this. Get a little salami on there. And of course, a pickle. All right, so let's see how it is. Okay. That salami is absolutely delicious. The pickles have this like zestiness to them. They're so good. The duck pate is amazing. This appetizer is definitely a 10 out of 10. Very, very good. The meat is seasoned perfectly. I cannot recommend this appetizer enough. Very good. So since the 2020 closures due to the pandemic, they have not yet brought back meat character interactions. Um, you will get to meet Cinderella in the very beginning like you guys saw me do and you'll get to take your picture with her. Um, but like I said, no princesses coming to your tables. Hopefully they do bring that back in the future, um, but it is still very much worth it to dine here regardless um, without the character interactions. If you're dining in Cinderella's castle, you get to overlook Magic Kingdom as you're dining. It really doesn't get much better than that. And then for Hubby's entree, he did get the steamed mussels. It is served with a white wine coconut curry, tomatoes, and a garlic sauce. So these look super tasty. Okay, so we are gonna dig right into this entree. I love pesto sauce, so I cannot wait to try this. 
That pesto sauce has such a good flavor. I can really get all the hints of the herbs and the spices in it. It is so good. Now it is served with pine nuts, so if you do have a nut allergy, this is not going to be the entree for you. But this is very, very, very good. I love it. Look at that tasty bite right there, guys, with all the pasta and the pesto on it. Oh my goodness, it is so good. So the closer I get to the bottom, the more I'm, I'm smelling that delicious pesto and all that olive oil. It's a very fragrant dish, I will say that. Very, very tasty. And it's a good portion too, like I'm getting pretty full. I'm not even done with my food yet. And as you guys can see, I absolutely hated my food. <laughs> Obviously, I adored it. It was so good, so flavorful. And I love that it's even served in a little frying pan like Skillet from the movie Tangled. That's really a creative little touch there. Um, but yeah, definitely try this because it is exclusive for the 50th anniversary and it's a very tasty dish. Hippity, hoppity, Bill! Oh my goodness, I love it. It's so magical. And Cinderella even gave us a little souvenir. And on the back, she signed it. I love it. This is actually one of my favorite Disney images right here at Cinderella Dress Transformation, so I love that they put that here. So beautiful. And you guys know my favorite part of every meal is always dessert. Um, so I did get the chocolate mousse cake. And I love that it has the little clock strike midnight clock on there. And of course, I had to stand it up right there for Instagram. <laughs> you guys will see that on my Instagram. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram for all the Disney magic to, and to catch up on what I'm doing. And then I'll post the link in the description box down below to my Instagram page. But this looks so good. Almost too pretty to eat. I feel guilty eating it. But, oh my gosh, it looks so tasty. Okay, so time to dig into this delicious dessert. I'll put it right here so you guys can see. Ah, oh, look at all that delicious chocolate moussiness. Look at that. It's so good inside. So good. So chocolatey. Very rich. If you're not a big chocolate fan, probably don't get this dessert because it is very, very, very chocolate intense. But I love chocolate. It is so good. Have to recommend this. And it's very pretty. So before you demolish it, you make sure you take really lots of good pictures. So I just ate the clock strikes midnight and that little graphic on top. It was so good. It really had like strong hints of the white chocolate. Very, very, very good. Like, like I said, this dessert is very chocolate intense. Between the dark chocolate and the white chocolate, it balances so perfectly. And as we exit here, I see Cinderella stepped away for a minute. Oh, look at that beautiful fireplace. This is on the ground floor as we enter. And look at this shining armor. Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for us today here at Cinderella's Royal Table. We had an amazing lunch. A lot of people are kind of torn about this restaurant. A lot of people say that the food is kind of mediocre with the atmosphere being magical. I have to disagree. I absolutely loved the food. I loved the 50th anniversary option. I loved how it was Tangled themed. I loved Tangled. I loved how the pasta was actually the shape of her hair with the little flowers. And the food was excellent to go along with that beautiful presentation. And the desserts were awesome. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you do have to prepay for it um, at the time of booking. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for all the fun, all the Disney magic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.